Yeah, all right. Let's do our own HD zero penetration test. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own, but baby, it's another lie. Remember, you were me. I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work. I try to say something, but there's a word. I try to justify my actions, less reactions. Okay, some final thoughts. First of all, bandos are unforgiving and I now have two quads with broken arms and snap motors. Moreover, HG Zero's one watt performance is fantastic in a straight line, but its ability to cut through a building, I think is wanting at best. <sighs> Three concrete walls and I was kind of hoping to keep some picture, but I think the biggest concern is that you don't get much warning with HD Zero when you're about to lose signal. You get some little speckles at times, but you get so used to those, you almost don't see them. And I'm not one to stare at the link quality when I'm trying to figure out what my line's going to be. Therefore, when you lose signal, it's gone. It's just a rainbow screen. And your best chance is just to punch out of whatever you're doing and try to get into a clean line of sight. <sighs> Now I know the obvious comparison is DJI would have done better. And I guess I can't argue that point. Maybe DJI could have done better. I'm not a DJI pilot. However, bandos are fun. All right, peace out.